Swain III Graver was the king of Denmark between 1146 and 1157, in shifting alliances with Canut V and his own cousin Valdemar I. In 1157, the three agreed a tripartition of Denmark. Swain attempted to kill his rivals at the peace banquet, and was subsequently defeated by Valdemar I at the Battle of Grave the Heath and killed. Biography Swain was the illegitimate son of Eric II the Memorable and the concubine Thunner. Swain travelled with Eric II to Norway in the mid-1130s, when his father fought King Niels to win the Danish throne. When Eric II died in 1137, he was succeeded by Eric III, and Swain was sent to the court of Conrad III of Germany. Here he befriended Conrad's nephew Frederick, the later Friedrich I of Germany. He travelled to Denmark, where he and his cousin Valdemar sought to canonise Swain's uncle and Valdemar's father Canute Lavard in 1146, under protest from Archbishop Eskel of Lund in Scania. For the next years, Swain fought a civil war against Canute for the kingship of Denmark, supported by Valdemar. Canute was supported by Archbishop Eskel, but Swain moved to secure Eskel's loyalty by granting the Archbishop of Lund land holdings in Scania and Bornholm. Swain subsequently defeated Canute on Zealand to confine him to Jutland. In 1147, Swain and Canute united to support the Wendish Crusade. As Swain engaged the Wends in naval battle, he received little support from Canute and lost his flagship. The civil war was soon reignited. After several battles, Swain conquered Funen and parts of Jutland and set Valdemar up as Duke of Schleswig. Swain then campaigned with Ethelo von Dithmarschen against Adolf II of Holstein, a supporter of Canute. Swain succeeded in banishing Canute in 1150, and Canute's re-entry with German troops in 1151 was also repulsed. Both Canute and Swain sought the support of Conrad III of Germany. In 1152, Frederick I was crowned King of Germany, and he brokered a deal in Merseburg later that year. The deal made Swain Premier King, with Canute eligible to receive a substantial portion of Denmark, and Valdemar keeping the Duchy of Schleswig. However, Swain only granted Canute small holdings, breaking the agreement and Swain's position in Denmark was further undermined by his alleged tyrant manners and his pro-German behaviour. In 1154, Swain was overthrown by an alliance between Canute and Valdemar, who was crowned Canute's co-ruler as Valdemar I. Eskel and the majority of Swain's other supporters deserted him, and he went into exile in Germany. Swain spent three years seeking support for a reconquest, and returned to Denmark in 1157 with the support of German Duke Henry the Lion. This prompted the Danish magnates to force through a tripartition of the kingdom into Jutland, Zealand, and Scania. Swain chose first and was made the ruler of Scania. At the peace banquet in Roskilde on August 9, 1157, Swain planned on killing his two co-rulers, and succeeded in having Canute killed. The incident became known as the Blood Feast of Roskilde. Valdemar escaped to Jutland, and on 23 October 1157, Swain and his army faced and met to him at the Battle of Grey the Heath, which gave him his nickname Grey the. Swain's army was defeated, and he was killed by peasants who caught him when his horse was sucked into a bog while he fled from the battle. Marriage an issue. In 1152, Swain married Adela of Meissen, daughter of Conrad, Margrave of Meissen and Louisgard of Ravenstein. They had two children. Unnamed son, possibly named Eric, he died early. Louis Gard, she married Berthold I of Istria. 